Hey folks, so let's talk about the global blog post and global gallery settings. So to access these settings, you'd head on over to the flow theme area, click on posts or click on galleries. Now I have two tabs open here. One is for post settings and the other one is with gallery settings. Regardless of your theme, regardless of blog posts or galleries, this process will remain the same. You have a few tabs at the top. One is called global layout. The other one is called templates and then another one called miscellaneous. The same would apply to your blog post settings. You have global, templates, and miscellaneous. In the following area, you determine the default layout for all of your blog posts and all of your galleries that you will be creating. Now if you click on the templates tab, you'll see that we have a default post layout. If we head on over to our galleries, you'll see that we have two options available. Some themes may have two options, some three, some may have four, some only one, depending on your theme. Now you'll go ahead and do a quick preview of the following layout and if this is the option you want to go with, go ahead and click on apply template, confirm, and you'll be redirected to the global layout tab. Within this area you'll have a detailed overview of the entire layout components where you can drag and drop items around. So let's say if you want to move this featured slideshow underneath this item pagination or if you want to add an additional block of content using one of the following blocks, you can easily do so. Once you've added in your block, you'll need to scroll up and click on update. Now once you've updated your general gallery settings or your general blog post settings, Every time you create a new blog post or a new gallery, you'll inherit the layout created within the flow theme galleries area or within the flow theme blog post section, depending on what you are creating. Now within blog posts and within galleries, we do have the option to create a custom layout, meaning it will overwrite what you've created within the following section. However, we do have a separate video for that. But in terms of the global layout for blog posts and galleries, this is what the process would look like. Now we also have tabs called miscellaneous within our galleries and within our blog posts. Now within our galleries, you only change your portfolio link slug, meaning this word can be replaced with the word portfolio in all three fields. If we take a look at our blog post settings within the miscellaneous area, there are a few more options for us to adjust. You choose whether or not you want to add by default a left or right hand sidebar to your blog post or just keep it standard full width and then manually add a sidebar if that would be required to a chosen blog post. You can then choose to auto set featured images, choose the blog post responsiveness and also choose the distance between the blog post images. So this is the entire process of how to manage the generic layout for your blog posts and your galleries as well. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you around later.